All right, hello and welcome to this channel. Uh, we're going to take a look at how we can uh, install .NET Core 6 on a Debian-based system. Uh, more specifically, in my case, it's going to be Ubuntu. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. As you can see, I have the terminal already open. And the reason for that is I just want to make sure first there's no previous installation of .NET 6. So what I'll do is I'll issue the command .NET dash dash version. And as you can see, it says command not found. So that means .NET is not installed on my um, system right now. The next thing I want to do is find uh, uh, check the version of Ubuntu that I'm running. Or if you need to find your version of uh, Ubuntu, what you can do is also issue the following command, which is lsb underscore release dash a. And as you can see here, it's telling me that I'm running Ubuntu 2204. Uh, LTS, which is the long-term support. So now that I, I know the version of Ubuntu that I'm running, I'm going to navigate over to the Microsoft documentation and I'll walk you through the installation process. We're going to be jumping back and forth between the website um, and the terminal, so just keep that terminal open. So let me navigate over to an empty browser there. And what I want to do is, and I'll leave the link and the commands that I'm typing in the description box for you guys to reference later. So I'm just going to, again, navigate over to Microsoft documentation. Once I'm here, by default, the Ubuntu menu is already selected. Um, if I navigate a little bit down to the supported distributions, and as I previously mentioned, or we checked, I'm running Ubuntu version 2204, which is the LTS, a long-term support, and it does support .NET 6, which is what I want to install. So that's great. I'm just going to click on the link to quickly take me down to the uh, to the section that is related to this distribution. Again, I'm just going to go back real quick here. If you're running a different version, you just want to make sure that uh, whatever you're trying to install or whatever .NET release you're trying to install, um, it is supported on your system. Uh, but for me, I'm just going to stick with 2204 for right now. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just copy this command. Uh, so this is a lot. So this is. Essentially, what it's going to do is um, add the Microsoft package signing key and also um, uh, get the Debian package that we need. So I'm just going to click on copy here, uh, navigate back to the terminal. I'm just going to right click and click paste. And it's going to paste whatever I copied from the website. And I'm just going to click enter. It's going to ask me for my password. I'll just type in my password. And as you can see, it's already um, done. So one thing I want to check here is make sure that it did remove the packages, which is good. And I'm just going to clear the screen just to give us more real estate to look at and navigate back to the Microsoft documentation. The next thing I want to do is install the SDK. So here, um, I'm just going to copy this command like I did with previously, navigate back over to the terminal and press control shift V this time or you can right click and click paste but I just click control shift V just for a shortcut so essentially what this one is going to do is first check for any updates and then it's also um, going to try to install the app transport HTTPS after that it's also going to issue another um, app get update and then finally it's going to install um, the .NET 6 SDK so I'll press enter and it's just going to go through the process of doing what it's got to do It shouldn't ask you for your password again unless you close the terminal and open it. It should remember your uh, password or pseudo credentials from the last um, time you entered it. All right, so it's done. So the next thing I want to do here is I want to navigate back to the website. And there's uh, now this step is optional, but uh, if you want to run an ASP on uh, ASP Net Core. Um, runtime then you need to do this otherwise you can skip this step but I if you're gonna develop anything uh, with the ASP not core framework then you need this uh. so I'm just gonna copy this command again and I'm gonna go back uh, to the terminal I'm gonna clear the screen just so we can start from the top right click this time and paste and again it's doing the same thing um, as opposed to what I did before uh, some some commands are just not going to go through as a matter of fact we don't even need any of the like the app transport because it should have installed it in the last one but i'm just going to keep it um uh, the system is going to be smart enough to know that they're already installed and it won't install them again 
uh, but the important part is the ASP.NET Core, which is down here. Uh, this is what we're trying to install now. So once that is done, um, we should be good. So we will clear. There's a couple of messages, but these are not related to what we're doing right now. So I'm going to clear and then navigate back over to the Microsoft documentation. Uh, the last step here, they're telling you if you don't need the ASP.NET Core runtime, then you can install just the .NET runtime if all you're doing is just running an application on your system. But in my case, I'd, I want the SDK because I want to develop. So if you're not developing, uh, then you don't need the previous uh, ASP.NET Core runtime that we just installed, like this section. You can skip a word and just uh, install this last part. But for me, like I said, I'm developing, so I need it. Uh, the final thing I want to do here is just to make sure that it's actually um, installed. Remember, we, uh, when we first started, we tried to issue a .NET dash dash version, and it said command not found. But this time, because we installed it, if I issue the same command again, it should tell me that now I have uh, .NET release .NET 6.0.302. Uh, and essentially, that's it. Thank you for watching.